Welcome to another STEM tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how you can solve for the equation of a linear regression line using Python. We'll be focusing on the following example here, which we had solved by hand in our linear regression practice problem tutorial. In this example, we'll need to solve for the linear regression line that best describes the data shown here. So here we see that we would like a linear regression line that describes how our ice cream sales, our Y data here, how our ice cream sales increase with temperature, which is our X data. Like we had said in our practice problem tutorial, you'll likely never solve for a linear regression line by hand in the workplace. It's much faster to do so with a program such as Excel or a programming language such as MATLAB or Python. We'll be using Python in our spider interface from Anaconda. This program is free to install and you can click on our video link in the upper right hand corner if you wanna get it. Don't worry if you're a Python beginner. In this video, we'll be going through everything step by step to make sure that you can follow along. So let's get started. So once you have your Python interface open, again, we're using spider here, please save a blank script like we've done here. So you can just create a new file and then save it. We're going to be using the package NumPy to help us solve for our linear regression line. There are of course other packages that you could also use, such as sklearn, but we've opted for NumPy since the functions are analogous to MATLAB. So I'll just type import NumPy as np. We're also going to import matplotlib so import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and we're going to do so to be able to plot our data and linear regression line at the end. So once we've defined the packages we want to use, we're going to define our data. So we're going to type our x data, and it's going to equal an array. So to do this, we're going to type np for numpy.array, we're going to have our parentheses, and then we're going to have square brackets in which we type our data values separated by commas. So I'll just enter the values we saw from example one. We have 15, 19, 22, 28, 30, and 35. And we'll do the same for our y data. y data equals np.array. Then we have our round brackets and square brackets. And then we enter our values, 35, 50, 84, 90, 97, and 104. And so what I like to do while programming or scripting is I like to always run my scripts in between to make sure that everything's okay. So we'll click on this green play button here to run the file we see that it's ran, and if we click on our variable explorer to see our variables, we see we have our x and y data, which match the values from our example one. So now we can move on to calculating our coefficients of the linear regression equation. And we'll do so by using the numpy polyfit function. So I'm gonna say my coefficients that we're going to calculate, which is for our line, our slope and y-intercept, our coefficients are going to be stored in the variable p, and it's going to equal our np.polyfit function. And if we put in our round brackets, we automatically see the definition of our polyfit function. So this polyfit function is going to calculate our slope and y-intercept for our linear line. And what we need to do is we need to input our x data, our y data, and then our degree of our x value. So here you can see the definition of a polynomial. So our, for instance, our y equals our first coefficient times x to a certain power. And so you can see here that you can even calculate your coefficients for higher order polynomials. So for quadratics or cubics. Since we're looking for a line, our x is going to be to the order of one. So we're going to have y equals our polynomial zero, which corresponds to our slope times x to the power of one plus our intercept. So here this degree will equal one. So you can also just remember the degree is always equal to one if we have a linear line, 
two corresponds to a quadratic and so on. So we'll enter our x data, like we've just learned, now our y data, and then a value of 1. And what we've seen as well is we're going to get two outputs. So I'll just make a note that we're going to get a return value where the first value is going to correspond to your highest power of x. So our first p-value is going to be our slope, and the second p-value is going to correspond to our y-intercept. So I'll just make a note here so that we can remember this together. So we'll get that our p of 0 will equal our slope, and our p of 1 will equal our y-intercept. So let's run this again we see our variable p and we have our two values. So like I said, the first value is our slope, the second is our y-intercept. So let's print our output together. So we're going to display a message in our console stating the equation of our line. We'll use the print function and I'll start typing that our y equals our m value, our slope value. So I'll add the value we just computed. So we need to convert it as a string. So we use the first polynomial value, the polynomial of zero, and we multiply this by x. So we'll type times x. And then we add our y-intercept value. So again, we need to use the add button to combine our different strings. If you don't do this, if you don't have the add button between, you're going to get an error. And then we'll type our string of p of one. And so now when we run this, we see that our equation of the line is being displayed or outputted below. So our y will equal 3.47x minus 9.69. And in case you're getting some red text or some errors, just make sure that you've typed everything here correctly. One common mistake is that you forget to separate each of your entities that you've written here with a plus symbol. So make sure that you have this plus symbol in between. So now we've established our equation of our line. As a next step, I'll show you how you can calculate your coefficient of determination or your r squared. So to calculate your r squared value, we're going to use a numpy function called core cof. So we'll just type a variable called correlation mat, and I'm going to call it mat since you'll see that our output is going to be a matrix value. And this will equal np core cope. So this is the function we're using. And again, you'll see we need to input our x and our y data. So if you run this, like I said, we see that we get a matrix output. And the value we're going to want to extract is here on this diagonal, so one of these two values, since this is going to correspond to our r value which we need to square at the very end. So we're going to type our correlation value r, so it's not our r squared yet, is going to equal this variable here, our correlation mat, and we'll choose the numeric value that I'd shown before that corresponds to the 0 0.93. And then finally, we need to just square this value to get our r squared. So our r squared is going to equal correlation r to the power of 2 and with this we have our r squared value so let's just print another message and then we'll run this whole thing again so i'm just going to type that our r squared value equals so we're going to do the plus to combine our string with another string so we're going to convert our r squared value to a string And now we'll run it. And so here we see in our output, again, the equation of our line and our r squared values. And you'll see that these outputs matched what we had calculated in our practice problem tutorial by hand. But of course, this is much easier. And so now you can input any x or y data that you want. And you'll always have a script that automatically calculates your linear regression line. So as a last step, what I'll help you do is just plot this data, which is something nice and fancy to do to get a feel for the data. So for our plot, we have our x and y experimental data. Now we need to get the x and y data points for our linear regression line. 
And so what we need to do here is we need to recalculate our y data with our new linear regression line. So we're going to say that our y predicted data, so our y data predict, is going to equal np.polyval. So we're going to use the polyval function. And we're going to input, again, you can see the description below here. We're going to input our polynomial values p and our x values to calculate the corresponding y values. So p comma x data, which is defined up here. So if you run this, you'll now see that we have our y predicted data, which is just as long as our x data. And these values are calculated using our linear regression line. So now we can plot everything. So we're going to open a plot using plt, which we've imported, dot plot. And so I'm going to type this again and start inputting my x data and y data corresponding to our experimental data points. And then we're going to define some additional properties. So I'm going to define the color of our experimental data points to be red. So color equals r for red. I don't want to have any line connecting the data points. I just want to have discrete dots for experimental data. So I'll say that our line style will equal no line at all, which is just two apostrophes. And then the marker that I want to use are just dots, which is indicated with a lowercase o. So if we run this now, we see our experimental data points. Now let's add our linear regression line. So we'll close this. Now we'll plot our linear regression line. So again, our x data, our y data predicted that we calculated with our polyval function. And I'm going to say I would like a blue color. And here I'm going to have a line. So I'm not going to type these different properties here. Instead, I'm going to say that I'd like to define my line width to equal two. And this is just to make the plot look nicer. So if I run the script now, We'll see that we have our experimental data points and our line. So as a last step, what I'll just show you how to do is how to add a legend and our X and Y labels. So let's add a legend first. All you need to do is use the legend function. So again, plt.legend. I'm going to use square brackets to enter the definition of each of our properties. So I'll say experimental data and then our linear regression line. You can also define the font size. I'm just going to say font size of 14. And then we're going to add our x and y label, plt.x label. Our x data corresponds to our temperature in degrees C. And I'll say our font size equals 14. And the same goes for our y data. So our y label. And our Y data just corresponds to our revenue, how many ice creams we've sold. And again, we'll just say our font size. I mean, you don't need to add the font size. It's something I like to do to make the plot look better. And so now we'll run this once more. And so we see our nice plot showing revenue versus temperature. We have our legend and we see our data points. So this wraps up today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe. And check out our numerical methods course on our website, stem-tutorials.com. Thanks for watching.